Today, the moon continues in Gemini, and I'm going to share three self-care hacks for the Gemini moon. I'm Marina Orms, here with your Astro Vibe for Wednesday, July 31st. So the moon continues in Gemini. Gemini is an air sign. It focuses on thinking, communication, ideas, mental processing, and so yesterday we were talking about networking and the power of building those connections with other human beings and how the exchange of ideas can be part of a bigger process of co-creating, creating together some of the outcomes that we want. And so whether it's for selfish reasons, right, you want to, there's something that you want for yourself and bouncing some ideas off of someone else or whether it is for more altruistic reasons, right? And you want to listen and participate more in uh, something that feels valuable or important to you and maybe maybe be part of something that feels important and meaningful. So for today, as the moon continues in Gemini and it will go into Cancer uh, later in the day, so uh, 8 50 uh, ish p.m. Pacific time, and the moon will go from Gemini into Cancer, where we shift gears into the more emotional, watery sign of Cancer. But for most of the day, it will be in Gemini. And so when we think about Gemini, we um, sometimes think about that. Uh, the the Gemini experience of distractibility. <laughs> if you have ever heard of Gemini's as being, you know, tendency to go off on tangents or get lost in thought or um, distractible, right? Going after whatever shiny objects happen to appear in the corner of your vision, right? Your peripheral vision has something interesting and you immediately forget what you're doing and refocus on something new that you're curious about. So how can we think about this Gemini moon energy in terms of uh, self-care? So we want to make the most of the possibilities of the Gemini moon. And we are in a moon cycle that is about caring and self-care. It began with the Cancer new moon. So we're, we're really just coming to the end of this Cancer moon cycle. So self-care for a Gemini moon, I've got three self-care hacks for you. Number one is to question your thinking. So whatever you think, you could get curious. You can go, hmm, why do I think that? Where did that come from? Maybe I could think something different because Gemini is about opening your mind. And so that brings us to number two, which is self-care hack for a Gemini moon, which is embrace learning new things. And so this is an opportunity to explore. And the reason that we have that Gemini or that distractibility with the Gemini energy is because we are curious. And when our minds are engaged, we can learn new things. So refocus, you know, it's maybe it's not distractibility. Maybe it's curiosity. Maybe it is a desire to explore or learn something new or have a new experience that is drawing our attention and especially our mental attention. So reframe any negative thoughts, recognize that instead of being distracted, you're actually exploring new avenues of thought and learning new things. And that brings us to number three, self-care hack for a Gemini moon, and that is step into wonder. So Gemini is the ultimate in reminding us to have a mind of wonder. And so it's not just curiosity, it's the ability to recognize that we live in the midst of magic. And so having that mind of wonder and really tuning into the beauty that is around you, 
the um you know the things that you just gloss over because they don't they're not screaming for your attention but but they're providing value to your daily life maybe it's uh you know something in your house that um it is really something that is beautiful or comforting or um brings you some sort of uh, something beneficial to your life so we might forget right we might forget to be in wonder about that experience and so gemini moon gemini in general and the gemini moon remind us to be in that place of wonder of wow the world is really an amazing place and so uh here's a a challenge right to think of what about your world is really amazing what brings light and love and beauty into your world so step into that experience of wonder and let yourself have it right get lost in it even if it's only for a moment because it feeds you it it feeds us on these deeper levels and self-care can very much be um, a way of tapping into that experience of wonder or the wonder can be a way of enhancing your self-care so we've got just to recap three self-care hacks for a gemini moon remember distractibility is there for a reason it serves a purpose and a function so number one is to question your thinking explore other perspectives other things that you haven't thought before other possibilities that are out there opening your mind and then number two is embrace learning new things recognize that the things that are trying to distract you are also something you might be curious about so let yourself explore that curiosity or at least forgive yourself if you have gotten distracted for uh, exploring something that you are curious about it's how we learn it's how we grow um, and then number three, step into wonder and a challenge to notice what is magical and amazing and wonderful around you. Something about your life that you really appreciate that really brings value and beauty into your world. There you go. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Marina Orms and you can learn more about me at astrologyheals.com. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Um, it's very beneficial to me to have you subscribe to this YouTube channel. It helps my channel grow so more people can see and learn about these fascinating astrological self-care perspectives. I'm here every day with astrology for unshakable self-care, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye for now.